Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I've got the Amroot Spectrum 004. This is ball at 50% ABV and uses a very unique style of maturation, a style that actually would not be allowed in Scotland. I'll let you know about that when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. So Spectrum 004 first matured in X bourbon barrels, then finished in a custom made barrel with four different types of oak in it. New French oak, uh, new American oak, PX staves, and Oloroso staves. Obviously that's where you get the 004 from, the four different types of wood. Um, staves obviously banned by Scotch Whiskey Association. Compass Box famously got in trouble for doing that with their spice tree bottling. Um, Amru distilled, bottled in India. Obviously, those regulations don't apply to this. Very kind of unique style of maturation, really kind of cool. Uh, let's get into the nose. So, huge, bold, pungent sherry nose come out of this one. It's like stewed plums. It's just a huge, huge hit of plum note on this. Really, really nice. You get that like raisin as well in here. And like a little sweet like almond, almost like a marzipan kind of note to it. And then you get oak, you get wood, you get like dry, like sawdust, maybe a little bit of like mothball kind of uh, mustiness to this too. Pretty distinct flavors as far as pulling out the sherry and pulling out the oak in the wood. Very kind of like one side to the other. Um, the balance of those two, just a little bit off, but it's not off-putting on the nose for sure. Like you mostly get that sherry, that stewed, stewed plum. It's amazing on this. Really, really good. Let's go palate. Really nice. So again, those like boiled down, jammy kind of plums, dates, a little bit of raisin in there. You get strawberry, you get raspberry. And then again, those like those oak notes and that wood note comes through again, that sawdust, uh, that dry kind of like wood. Um, but it's very viscous and, and you definitely, I would say the balance here is more heavy on, on the jams, on, the, on that sherry kind of influence. The oak kind of does take a back seat to it, for sure, on the finish especially. Um, a finish, a nice lingering plum, raisin, a little bit of apricot, but really, really nice. This whiskey kind of plays tricks on me. One day I'll drink it and I'll just absolutely love it. Um, and the next day I'll drink it and, and the wood uh, is just too much and it's just too, it kind of overpowers the balance. Now, the balance on this one is off in my opinion, but it doesn't necessarily hurt it when you're picking up more of that stewed plum sherry notes because that note in this is phenomenal, really, really good stuff. But sometimes I'm drinking it and just the oak is just, it's just not resonating with me at all. I do not stand the oak note on this and it seems like almost every other time I drink it, it's different. It's completely a chameleon to me. This bottle has been pretty low, obviously you can see I'm reviewing it now because there's nothing left in this. Uh, I acquired this in a trade, Rob Whiskey in the Six um, was kind enough to loan me this one, or trade me this one. Um, so I've had it for a while. I reviewed this one a long time ago when I used to review for Toronto Whiskey Society. And I think I wrote in that review that again, this is like a chameleon. Sometimes I'm thinking I will score this one you know, almost approaching a 90, like an 88, like a high 80s. And then other times I'm like, well, it's more like a, like a mid, mid 80s to me. Tonight when I'm drinking it, really, really nice. I would score this. I'm gonna give it a conservative score because sometimes it is amazing. Sometimes it's just okay for me. I'm gonna go 87 out of 100 on this one. Really good whiskey. Um, if you've had the Amroot Spectrum, the original, I think it uses five uh different wood in that maturation cask it is a phenomenal whiskey i do prefer it to the 004 uh, the original release in my opinion is better but this is a nice whiskey if you're into 
you know, heavily sherried stuff and you don't mind some oak influence in there, definitely this would be uh, for you for sure. But again, it's that chameleon thing. It's like sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. It's kind of interesting having a whiskey that does that and I kind of appreciate whiskeys that do do that. It kind of don't give you the same experience every single time you go back to it. Awesome whiskey. Um, let me know what you think. Amroot, what do you think of the distillery? What do you think about, you know, um, Indian whiskeys in general? What do you think about the Amroot distillery? Lots of good stuff coming out of here for sure. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, have a good one. Cheers.